We are back in Atlantic City for the most sensational game. Let's land this pig. Right. Oh, whoa, man. Uh, nobody, nobody look. Nobody look. Okay. Go first person. Jeez. I think I broke rule number 34. If it exists, there's porn of it. If anybody makes a porn about me and my teddy bear outfit, just my head, I'm going to be severely disappointed in humanity. But I want to show you how good the holy fire is at keeping you alive. So we are going in here completely uh, stark naked with no armor on. Okay, yes, I will approach the play area. Thank you. Now, with that being said, uh, yeah, we are going a little bit stark naked. There is no armor. And to really, you know, kind of reiterate how good the Holy Fire is, if you look at my damage cards, I'm all on one-handed melee. So this is one of my one-handed melee builds. Highly recommend checking it out. It is non-power armor based, but it works very, very well. I use this all the time. Um, melee in this game is a little difficult uh, sometimes, you know, because you're always up in the action. I mean, it, it's literally right in your face. So yeah, we're, we're going to use the holy fire just to keep us alive. And I'm going to go through a lot of fuel. That's okay. We don't care. So if you look, there's contextual ammo. But that was to fix that problem a long time ago. Uh, it's not quite as good with the new expeditions. But it's still absolutely fine. I mean, you're not going to be constantly running out. You have to launch these firework mortars. Now, they do give you different objectives when you come in here. But none of them are extremely difficult. They're all kind of along the same path. Kill this guy. Get out of here. Really, man? Come on, man. I'm trying to launch the firework. And I am getting shot. But you can see how well that actually works. It's just healing me right up. Get out of here, man. Get out of my face. I'm trying to do a thing. Yeah, these aren't really that big of a deal. They're not difficult. Um, the holy fire is totally amazing at keeping you alive and healing you. And the damage numbers on it are very good. So if you are having problems with your build, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can approach a build in this game, which is one of the things that makes it fun. But if you are having problems staying alive, 
uh, throw a holy fire in your pocket with a little bit of fuel or something like that. It's not that big a deal. You can get your health back up if you're not carrying a bunch of stim packs or if you just want to use it as your healing thing. Um, you can use whatever weapon that you want. Let's say that you've got a little, you know, pokey stabby tool like this. And then you need to heal up or whatever. Okay, not a big deal. We can go ahead and, you know, switch back to the holy fire. Vamp weapons in general are phenomenal in this game. So no matter what weapon you are using, you know, you can always try and roll for a vamp if you're having problems staying alive. There's plenty of options. And now I have to give you the thumbs up. Um, hello. Hello. Where do we have to go? Oh, here it is. There it is. We have more enemies over here. Get out of here. Get. Get. Oh. Got a wave at him. Hello. Hi. judge me just a naked teddy bear testing out the holy fire and to kind of show everybody how uh, how these events run nothing to see here it's not, nothing to see here okay all right let's go in inaccessible what the heck ah eh. So if you do decide to use vamp weapons or anything, the faster your DPS, you know, your faster fire rate or anything like that, that's going to give you a much better healing benefit. So melee, like this little guy right here, is the cryptid pokey stabby. It's the cryptid knife. It does heal you as you use it um, it's not great though because obviously you can only poke and stab so fast in this game but it does heal you a little bit now if we switch to that holy fire though it does quite a bit more healing yeah And that's because it has a faster fire rate. No, I'm not invincible, but... I was better than that guy. Who just died. We need the polar bear. So... I'm going to show you the locations right here. The polar bear can be found right here in this fridge. And we're in the arcade, as you can see. If it asks uh, for bubblegum bear, it's in this other room. I will show you. Bubblegum bear can be found right here. In the corner. 
And where the heck is that? Ah, right here. This little rocket ship, when you first walk in, if it asks for the quantum bear, it's going to be right there. I, you know, I'm trying to explain some stuff here, you know. And then the Betsuri twins, they have a huge amount of fire damage resistance. So I'm not even messing with them. Now, if you've been paying attention, I haven't used the stem pack the entire time. And I have no damage cards for this weapon. So, I mean, it really is a true testament to uh, how effective the vamp perk is on this particular weapon. Highly recommend if you are having problems staying alive, grab a holy fire. They're absolutely free. You can earn them as a reward from Beasts of Burden. To those who have made it this far, you are my children indeed. You are the life of this dying world. You are everything. Show me your talents. I'd like for our brave contestants to enter the shock set and prove their dominance. Lay claim to your territory. Defend it from all who would seek to dethrone you. Remain until the end, and you shall perform for me personally in the grand finale. Well, let's claim the flag. That's the first thing that you want to do. Let's claim that flag. And then you can remove enemies from the area. And that'll help that little meter go up. So you can uh, achieve the goal of fending off the rivals. I really, really like this aquarium. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think Bethesda did a good job at designing these uh, little private instances. They did a good job. Look at all those freaking enemies. Well, there's quite a few that spawned in right there. Yeah, let's run their pockets. Gotta run the pockets. Take everything. But honestly, none of these are real difficult. They're quite a bit of fun. Again, it's another new environment to explore. Well, we just got to keep killing these enemies to achieve our goal. I hear someone. Hiding behind the door. Oh, there's some more. That's where they were. Out of here. One in the area. Where the heck is it? Seeing something blow up. There we go. Yeah, 
add the contextual ammo drops but it's a lot nicer used to it was extremely hard to keep ammo or anything like that unless you were crafting constantly um, now it's really not an issue and that's a good thing you know it's one less thing to sit there and focus on and constantly grind for obviously they want to keep some things a grind because it keeps you playing oh, you made me so there we go we now did it just to show you though we are still naked no armor I don't think we've used a stem pack at all <laughs> ah, the twins. Twins, Basil. Oh, and there we go. If you don't watch your health, or you're not using a vamp weapon, you can die. Mm -hmm. I just switched over to the auto axe because... You know, it does a lot of freaking damage. But we do have to watch that health. This is not a vamp auto axe, clearly. So, we can just swap back over to our other weapon, though. We'll heal ourselves up. Look at how quick we healed. So that was basically my own fault that I died because I wasn't paying attention to my health. But if you happen to have a vamp auto axe, that won't happen to you. There we go. Now we just turn in. We'll talk to mother. And that's it. It's real simple. But other than my own stupidity of not watching my health you can see the vamp weapons in this game are extremely effective if, if you have one that has high dps you know damage per second such as high fire rate weapons like gatlins or the auto axe or chainsaw anything that it is fast at attacking it's going to heal you stupidly quick Oh, look at that. They didn't even put clothes back on me. They roofied me and didn't even put clothes back on. Man. Yeah. Terrible. Morning, oh. You ready to get we'll talk to home? Lennox real quick. Take me home, baby girl. I trust ya. There's our rewards. We got all our goals. We even finished it expeditiously, even though I'm dumb and I died once. All right, and we're back at Nuka World. So I recommend that you, when you go into an expedition, that you either travel to Nuka World or the White Springs Mall before you go into your expedition because when it kicks you back out into the wasteland you're going to be fat because you've got a bunch of legendaries and all the crap that you gathered up while you were in there. So now that we're here though and we're close we can scrap all our stuff throw it in your scrap box if you have fallout first you've got your ammo boxes as well for fallout first uh, here's your regular stash box got your legendary machine you can turn everything in so yeah keep that in mind and to uh, again reiterate that it's so easy that literally these are all melee cards 
I had no damage cards on that holy fire. Uh, this is, again, like I said, this is my one-handed melee build for no power armor. I've been running it for months. It works phenomenally well. I highly recommend that you try it if you are one-handed melee. Here are the legendary cards that I have. Uh, I have to test taking one for the team again. For a while it wasn't working properly. I think that they fixed it in this patch. But as far as your cards, you know, your quote special cards, I don't have a whole lot invested in it. I only have the three. But I'm running the Funky Duds so I don't get poison damage. Sizzle and Style protects me from fire. And then obviously taking one for the team. Um, but again, I, I have not tested taking one for the team to verify if they fixed it. But you can pause this if you want. Take that screenshot. That is a very, very, very good one-handed melee build. But yeah, check out that holy fire. Uh, other vamp weapons with high fire rate or high damage rate. Definitely check those out on your build. Uh, they work phenomenally well. So well that you can go to Atlantic City or whatever with absolutely no armor and no damage cards on that weapon and you'll still survive. So, have a great day. I gotta go get some clothes on. Bye. Bye.